I've had people tell me, you know, Hey, Todd, how come you don't do the pop song reviews as much anymore? <laughs> okay, yes, fine, that is true. I'll admit they're coming out a little slower these days. And the reason is, I just don't have as much material as I used to. And I'm not saying I don't have as much to say about modern pop music. I mean, there is just not as much pop music to say things about. Pop music isn't just less big these days, it's just less. There's less and less of it, especially this year. I mean, I try to keep up to date, but traditional outlets like the radio are still my primary entry point into new music. But to be played on the top 40 stations, you need to be both one, pop music, and two, popular. And since pop is such a vague, almost meaningless term, you'd think it wouldn't be too hard to meet both those criteria, but it's just not happening. Top 40 stations have been gradually transforming into oldie stations as they increasingly rely on music from a year ago, or two years ago, or five, or ten, or more. That all 90s flashback weekend is starting to take over more and more of the week, it seems like. Why? Well, the hot shit right now is trap music. And whoever makes these decisions have apparently concluded that there's no crossover appeal. This is the polar opposite of the hip-hop that pop stations like. They're already straining themselves by including Drake or Post Malone. They're not gonna give a shot to Kodak Black. And there's nothing with those big pop choruses catching on that they can play instead. In the past 12 months, we've seen big flop albums from Taylor Swift, Justin Timberlake, Eminem, Katy Perry, and instead the charts are being dominated by mumbling 14 year olds on SoundCloud named Little X Fuck, who you'll never find on radio or TV ever. People have been predicting this since I was a kid, but it feels like it's finally come true. The internet has made everything too niche to have big sellers like we did in the past. The world has changed and left pop music behind. But you know what never changes? Got lots of bars around this town. Well, not never changes, but changes very slowly at least. And of course, I'm talking about good old country music. Like, yeah, they do change. They added some hip-hop tropes to it. Only took them 25 years to get okay with rap. And that's just how country music rolls. It likes tradition. It respects the past. So, SoundCloud rap is gonna have to be around for a few decades before you see Lil' X-Fuck on a country record. And sure, maybe it's a corny genre. But they still sing instead of rap. They still like traditional structures and melodies. So for top 40 stations, it's either try to make middle America love 21 Savage, or start leaning towards Nashville. Borrow their singers, borrow their songs, whatever works. So let's look at two of the few actual hit pop songs right now. We've got country singer Marin Morris being the guest vocalist for Producer Zed. That one's called The Middle. And we've got country dumbasses Florida Georgia Line doing a guest duet with pop singer B.B. Rexa. That one's called Meant To Be. Welcome back to the show, boys. You both still suck. Well, I've already explained what they're doing here, but how are the songs themselves? Well, let's start with the obviously better one, The Middle. Take a seat. Right over there, sat on Wait, better one, you said, Todd? When you say better, do you mean good? Does that mean you actually like the song? Well, let me put it like this. Now, when I first heard the song, it was in a goddamn Target commercial. Which to me is as good a reason as any to ignore it. Target puts a lot of money into music videos that are never good. But this one I listened to and I was like, you know, okay, fine. This is perfectly fine. But then I heard it over and over and over again. And after a few dozen plays, I realized... Oh, baby. Zed may be the best producer alive. Why don't you just meet me in the middle? Hey, every time I hear this song now, I am just in awe. The production on this song is immaculate. Every single thing he does in this song is goddamn amazing. That little ticking clock that signifies the crushingly slow pace of time when you're having a fight, or the way it drops out to the multi tracked a cappella chorus. So why don't you just meet me in the middle? And then it kicks back in. Or oh, that bridge. Looking at you, I can't lie. Oh, the bridge is absolutely fantastic. And, and, you know, after I realized that, I went back to all of Zed's hits, and there have been way more of those than I realized. And he's been good this entire time, and I just never realized it. I have completely overlooked how good Zed is at this shit. And the middle, I mean, that might be close to his best. So, if, do I like it? Not only do I like it, I... No, not really. We'll go back to that, I guess, but... I can tell you that I do like it a whole lot more than meant to be, which is fucking garbage. 
And the really funny thing is that this song is apparently huge on country radio. In fact, it's the number one country song in America, and it has been since last fucking year! That's six straight months at the number one spot, for a song that's the equivalent of a sorority girl in a pink cowboy hat. Okay, to be fair, that's probably because Spotify is skewing the stats of what counts as country, but this also hit number one just on the country radio stations, too. Even though BB Rex's only attempts to seem country are a plaid flannel bustier and a diner waitress outfit that makes her look like she's also wearing it to the bachelor party she's working afterward. Now, this is fascinating to me because country music used to have a very narrow and specific meaning. And over time, I've watched it broaden to mean any kind of rootsy Americana, and then eventually just any music that still used instruments, and now it means... I don't know, anything sung with a twang, I guess. I mean, Christ, there's not even a guitar on this one. It's a piano and a stuttering drum machine. Skrillex could come on here and drop some wubs and dubs and it wouldn't be any less country. Like, the only thing that makes this song country is the drawling melody of the chorus, and, and that's it. Like, it was always gonna have to be at least a little country, because whatever the production, it's just too slow and lethargic to be a straight pop song. But BB Rexa doesn't have enough personality to pull off a country ballad, so she had to pull in a couple guys with some actual dirt and grit in their voices to add the depth that it needs. Oh, hold up, girl, don't you know you're beautiful? I mean, think about how sad that is. I first saw that bikini top on her. To add depth, she had to pull in Florida Georgia Line, both of whom have a stack of old maxims where their brains should be. Because look, BB Rexa, she just doesn't have it. The industry really wants her to be big. She's had guest spots on other people's hits, but she's never established herself as a solo artist or even a personality. And even though she's listed as the main artist, this isn't really her song either. Baby, lay on back and relax. She doesn't even show up till the second verse. I mean, how long is it before she shows up? I don't mean to be Christ, that's almost a minute before she starts singing. I mean, this wouldn't be her song anyway, because I, I just don't see any star quality in her. I'm not good at predictions, but if you have any money in BB Rexa, I say cash out, start buying stock in Dua Lipa. Way more upside on that one. And I do find it interesting that BB Rexa has to pretend to be a country singer to get a hit. Meanwhile, Marin Morris is already doing pop crossovers just three singles into her career. And those songs did well. She's not like BB Rexa straining to establish herself. Why start spreading yourself out like that so quickly? Well, I can only speculate, but here's one thing I have noticed. At some point over the last year, country music became extremely male. I have no clue how or why or when this started happening, but country music right now is a sausage fest. I'm looking at the country top 20 right now. There are only four women, and one of them's BB Rexa. And two others are Tori Kelly and Julia Michaels, two more pop singers doing a guest spot on a male country singer's track. There's only one actual country chick in there. There are two black guys on the list. It's easier to be black in country music than female right now. So even while BB Rexa is burrowing herself into Redneckville, I think Marin Morris might be building an escape route out of there in case she needs it. And even though she does have country cred, she fits into the pop world pretty perfectly. She sounds exactly like an established pop singer would. Which, honestly, is kind of my problem with the song. And with Marin Morris in general. My 90s baby, in my 80s Mercedes. I mean, I like her fine enough, but she's just not a very interesting vocalist. It doesn't matter when she's writing her own music about church and cars and good-for-nothing men, but without that, she's just another BB Rexa. And we barely have room for the one. And she's just not strong enough to carry the middle on her own, because the song itself is just... I don't know, it's missing something, as great as it sounds. Maybe it just needs better lyrics? And I'm unaware of just how we got into this mess, got so aggressive. I mean, what is this about? We're fighting. Instead of fighting, why don't we not fight? Why don't you just meet me in the middle? Wow, what a revelation. Like, Whatever you were fighting about must not have been that important if you're just gonna hug it out, so why am I even listening? Or, I don't know, maybe it just seems a little too familiar. Like, you compare it to Justin Bieber's What Do You Mean? What do you mean? And that song totally made me feel the crushing strain of arguing for no good reason because you're young and dumb and know absolutely nothing about relationships. 
In fact, it even has the same ticking clock. That seems like a little bit of a ripoff. But the person Zed really ripped off was himself. Hope the wind to change will change your mind. This is almost literally the exact same song as his last big hit. A cappella chorus with multi-track robot vocals. Ticking clock to indicate miserably slow passage of time. Clock is ticking, so stay. Lyrics begging for resolution to unspecified dangling tension. Stay a second, your hands on my elevators. That song was just last year. No wonder the middle sounds so good. Zed already gave himself a trial run. I mean, I think I prefer the middle to stay, but I do have difficulty remembering which is which, and remembering which song is which is also a problem I have with Meant To Be, because this isn't the only pop song that Flo and Joe over here are on right now either. Yeah, there are two pop songs with Florida Georgia Line, and I get those songs confused all the time. And in fact, I also get it confused with that new Camila Cabello song. First time I heard it, I was like, wow, Miley Cyrus's Return to Country seems to be going well for her. And yes, there is a Nashville version of this one too. That's a fourth vaguely country-ish pop hit right now. That's officially a trend. Not a good trend though. The fact that I can't even remember how these songs go is a really, really bad sign. You'll notice I've made almost zero comment on the actual lyrics of either song because who on earth could care? What is meant to be even about? Like they're flirting and maybe they'll have a relationship. Maybe we do, maybe we don't, maybe we will, maybe we won't. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. See, this fits perfectly with Florida Georgia Line. It's the exact kind of laid back, lazy, no commitment vibe they're good at because they don't have to sell anything deep or heartfelt or thoughtful. Just let me look at you, girl. Why don't you ride in my truck? Kick your pretty feet up on my dash. Like, I'm not sure either of these guys have ever even had sex with a girl. They just drive with them in the truck. And unlike the middle, meant to be doesn't even sound good. There have been attempts at combining country with pop music over and over again. Sometimes it turns out okay, but a lot of the times it turns out like this. It's not one thing, and it's not the other, it's just flavorless mush. And yeah, I am a little offended as a traditionalist, but there, you know, there's different kinds of non-traditional. Hip-hop traditionalists are not fans at all of mumble rap, and for the most part I agree with them, but at least I respect that those 14-year-olds are making something original and that they want to make. Or hell, even bro country! I bag on it, I'm still gonna bag on it, but it was a new, unique sound. This isn't anything. It's just pop that's not fun and country that's not authentic. And even though I prefer Zed, like, I want to like Zed. I want to like him so bad. But he's got the same bad habit that most big name producers have. They drain their singers of personality. His best couple songs were when he worked with Foxes and Ariana Grande, both of whom are huge, over the top singers that he couldn't water down. But Marin Morris. Remove her from country music and she just sounds like a Walmart brand Demi Lovato. That's right, Walmart. Not even up to the high standards of her own sponsor. She could very easily cross over into pop music, but I don't see what she'd add. Or who knows, maybe she should anyway. Get some new blood into the top 40, because this whole format is just a goddamn ghost town right now. I, I doubt country pop is the future, but I do get why it's happening. Country music has always had this frustrated crush on cooler musics. They're like that loser guy that kept trying and trying to get the hot girl's attention, and then pop music was at a low point, and now it's having a badly considered rebound hookup with the dumbass in the cowboy hat, and it's probably going to regret it instantly. This whole thing is just a bad idea, and if this is a trend, I hope it ends soon. All it's doing is making interesting artists boring and making both genres worse. If this is where country and pop meet, then they should not have met in the middle, and I certainly hope it's not meant to be. If it's meant to be, I was country.